good afternoon everybody welcome back to another vlog so again i'm starting another weekly vlog on this fine wednesday sunny day i've been working this morning and then i also actually nipped into town because i actually had to return a couple of clothing items from tk maxx because i just bought them and i tried them on at home and they were too big and there were some lovely baby blue the juicy joggers in, in a size small and also some the yellow zara shorts both too big i was really sad about it but anyway i did actually buy one thing in town uh, well a couple of things actually so it's actually scott's everyone's birthday coming up so i actually bought a card in the card factory it's got a bit of cake on it and i think it's pretty cute and that was 149 it's one of the boutique cards so it is about it is better quality and it does look nice and pretty and then i also got myself honestly you guys you guys are honestly gonna find this really exciting like oh my god the best thing you've ever seen all year <laughs> jokes so i got myself an academic diary 2022 to 2023 because i need a new diary for august bookings onwards now because i do have a academic diary for 2021 to 2022 but now that it'll be moving august onwards and obviously my old diary ends in july i need a new one and obviously people are booking in now so yes yeah, so that was three pounds on the works and i think it's pretty cute with all the little bees on so i've got that it's like the navy blue and gold i think that's pretty cute i've then actually had a couple of parcels arrive i think yeah, they are beauty related stuff because i it just needed to stock up on a few things oh no actually some things arrived oh my god it's actually really nice oh my god i have actually got a gucci bikini <laughs> oh this is nice yes yeah, so you're just off the hk oh my god it's actually stunning i've got a thing it's gonna be too big for me though oh my god it's gorgeous look at this bikini i've got a feeling it is gonna be too big but i've got this in a size small look how stunning that is oh my god like how pretty is this i think it was around 16 pounds obviously means it's got to go on holiday look how nice the detailing is and then here is the top it's one of those like type of bikinis where straps up at the neck and straps up at the back it, it does look tiny but i'm really excited about that yeah i was not expecting that to come that early but here we are i think i ordered it about a week and a half ago i have got a feeling it's gonna be a bit too big i don't know if i'll be able to change it or i might have to wear it higher up yeah, but i'm definitely have to sort my bikini line out because look at the size of that all right so it's about to serve my lunch up so i got some king's no 50 50 fig bread this is the best you know one of the best because i think tiger bread but personally for me it's the best so i'm just gonna have a two slices of bread i think i, I might eat more seven chicken nuggets and ketchup i do find you know, this one is very vinegary you compared to Heinz and stuff in like her little zone for example but it's still nice so i'm gonna get the utensils out because i think as it says in here utensils <laughs> um so got, i'm literally gonna put like three on each i think i think that's probably the best idea if i do say so myself i've got one to spare so i have to have that on its own i think <laughs> yeah here we are Here's my lunch and ketchup, so very excited. Happy Thursday, guys. So, obviously, it's Thursday, and I am up early. I've got my makeup on for a change, and I have a really extreme plumping lip gloss on. It's one of the two faced ones, but oh my god, my lips are like, uh, I feel as if I've had my lips done or something because you know, my lips are just tingling and like they look really big. But yeah, basically, I used the Garnier summer body last night this is because I, i've been feeling pale for a while and i like to put it on every now and then so i am looking browner i won't be looking really brown because i am obviously quite a pale person but yeah so i used my nose foundation today because it's like a darker foundation so i kind of feel like i've been on holiday and got a bit of a tan so i'm quite happy i've also gone for like a smoky eye but basically today i have two a mobile makeup clients one at half ten and one at four o'clock so quite separated but you know that's fine and I, I should have some parcels arriving today fingers crossed but yeah i am feeling very glam today i'm also wearing my zara top and in my zara trousers again because i only had them on for a few hours the other day and 
it's a comfortable outfit and it's warm enough to wear it and yeah pretty much yeah, that is the vibe right now i'm actually gonna clean my room before i go out because as you can tell it's absolute state like it literally is a mess like my floor over there is absolutely awful so i need to make my bed i need to obviously clean the dust too from my carpets and stuff um and just e everything else i need to put all those clothes back in my wardrobe all folded up so that it don't kind of build up on that chair that chair you can barely see it so yeah I i'm now gonna get this done I'm back home from the second client's house and it it went very well it was like it was only like a 10 to 15 minute drive so i was back there and back like before the hour really so yeah pretty good but anyway yeah so i actually changed my outfit i'm now wearing you know my juicy couture hoodie i'm actually taking this bra off guys like it's just so uncomfortable wearing a bra sometimes um Especially like a strapless bra, oh my god, it feels so much better. Thank god I only have small little boobies. Anyway, I'm wearing my juicy hoodie from TK Maxx. I think it's £40, but honestly the best £40 I have spent. It like, obviously goes really well with my Zara the leggings. Let's have a look at this monstrosity. Yeah, I'm going to have to hide that because that is actually disgusting. I don't know about anyone else, but it does fake, fake clan. Fake tan is stick to your ankles because like the dry because oh my god it does to me all the time but it'll never go perfect I mean you know it's not easy yeah but my makeup is starting to kind of come off a bit because of my oily skin if you see the oiliness through that but yeah it's turned out to be such a lovely day now like it was raining earlier on but now it's a lovely day I'm actually really hungry I'm hoping tea is gonna be very soon I'm very hungry for that but yeah. You know, my dad just went to see my grandma because it was my granddad's anniversary yesterday of when he passed away. It was five years yesterday. Like, I don't know where the time has gone. I, I would have been 15 to five years ago. So, like, yeah, it's been a long time they're coming, you know. Like, it really has five years. But, yes, I'm going to have to sort everything off for the salon tomorrow because I'm working tomorrow in the salon. It's actually been really nice, like, it being off on a Thursday. It can't be off. I work on a Thursday in ages. Also, I've been addicted to these mints, the Trevor mints. Yeah, I also ordered a mini ring light from Amazon. So it's basically like portable the one. So it's like a USB one, and you basically have to put it into like a USB socket. However, I'm going to use my um, what's it called? I'm going to use the um what's it called a portable charger type the thing is that we call a portable charger and then like it'll work through that pretty much so i'll charge it up but speaking of portable chargers i think i'm going to get another one for holiday because you know it's got i won't have one and then I'll end up using mine and then it's just like really guys i am absolutely aching all over because i've been working from nine o'clock today until around half five and like my shoulders are aching me because i've had to do like three massages and that is quite intense for half an hour once you put a strain on my body but yeah i'm now home i'm absolutely starving because i've literally had four slices of pizza a bag of crisps and a chocolate bar all day so I i'm really hungry but look at this tan on my tummy you know this tummy it seems to tan really nicely because this just is giving me like pure holiday vibes right now but yeah yeah, this top is so cute only thing is you need to strap this bra like under it. it it keeps sliding off but yeah anyway today has been a good day also my parcel has arrived so yeah i'm just gonna have a look and see what's inside oh so it's actually nicely packaged stuff actually okay i'm really excited i'm really hoping 
that's supposed to be nice it looks more purpley in real life it actually looked pinker online how cute is that it's like it's more puffy at the bottom i've got a feeling i'm not going to suit it i'm going to try it on i'm not going to do suit it because it is really cute it's something they're very different for me but i just wanted to get it because i thought it was pretty adorable and it's something very out of my comfort zone this dress is really cute but i don't know like if i'm too short for it it does actually fit me really well as you guys it would have saw before i thought it was going to be really big on me but it actually fits me okay on here and i think i probably would wear a strapless bra of this i don't know i probably wouldn't even need to i mean it just made me look completely flat chested i promise i am not as flat chested as it looks right now but i, I do have small boobs i think if i have heels on i think i need some opinions from my mum it's basically like a short like it's got like a pair of shorts of it and that's kind of like a good idea because like if if the dress kind of blows up then you know it'll be it's something very different i need to get used to it <laughs> i don't know how to feel about this right now so give me your opinions on it Hi guys so i got this really cool ring light it's meant to be like a ring light stand for a laptop it will basically yeah what i'm going to use this for is for like uh basically lighting for mobile makeup and like it comes like a stand and everything yeah but i'm kind of meaning more for photos and basically it's like a usb thing it was 12 pounds from amazon guys and the next day of delivery i think that i think i had to pay like four pounds delivery but it's so worth it because it actually comes with like the adjustment so you turn it on look how bright that is then you can kind of put the brightness off i think that's the, that's the brightest but you dim the brightness put it off i don't know what this is all right so that's like the, the different kind of temperatures okay that's quite cool yes yeah, so that's like really warm that's like cool that's normal i think yeah and it was £12 and it's actually really good quality and like it obviously comes with all this stuff right everybody so I'm in the kitchen again and I've actually put another load of washing on so like it is a few hours later and Scott is coming through in around half an hour so I am going to prepare my tea I feel as if I have like my own cooking channel now because I feel like such like a pro chef but yeah basically I'm making the barbecue and cheese the chicken I'll be using a golden vegetable your rice pouch and I'll also be making I won't be making it um I'll also be like some cooking like some broccoli and carrots and stuff with our food as well. Um and I'll do something else but I forgot what I was gonna do now but basically I am just gonna be you know, handling raw chickens this is not the very good but I'm I I am gonna season you know, the chicken breasts give it some chicken seasoning you, you probably won't need it I just thought I just want to add a bit of there's something to it um and then also some black pepper and some salt and obviously I will have to oil a bit of tray um, and basically what I'm going to do is I am going to put the other chicken breasts in for 20 minutes at first and take them out and, and basically put some barbecue sauce on them so I'm using like the back I am using the bullseye barbecue sauce um, and I am also going to be using probably some cheddar or something that's what yeah, I've got I'm just gonna oil the trail, it's probably enough. I don't really know how much oil. I never cook at home on my own, so this is quite a big deal for me, but I'm quite excited because it's like it's obviously I make it something for me and Scott. Right, here we are. Here we are. Right, I'm just gonna try and pop you up somewhere. But I've got a couple of chicken breasts from the little it doesn't really care where I've got them from, but I'm gonna try and open the packet. I honestly hate opening the packet, so like I'm I'm such an awkward person to open them. Yeah, the washing machine is really loud, so I do apologise. I might even knife. Be careful with knives at home, guys. Try to cut away from you. But yeah, raw chicken. You've obviously we've got to avoid cross contamination. I actually hate touching chicken breasts, but I've got two here, so I've got one. I'm just gonna place it in the tray, kind of oil it around. The second one. He's massive. Scott can have the big one. I'll have the little one. <laughs> His and hers. Then I'm gonna wash my hands. I'll be back. But yeah, behind me, you know that is still off. So yeah, yeah. Dad haven't been able to fix it because he actually hates doing stuff around the house like that. But yeah, I'm gonna use a pepper. Kind of put this on all over. 
we have a bit of pepper because I absolutely love black pepper and that's the oven beeping now for me to put it in so perfect timing really I'll put quite a lot of black pepper on but I love black pepper I have an obsession I'll put a bit of salt in because obviously like, it helps to kind of dry it out a bit and helps it cook better I won't put too much on because it's got gets into the habit of putting too much salt on stuff and like not as so much now but you used to get into the habit of putting like too much salt on stuff so I'm just going to put a bit of chicken seasoning on just to kind of make it taste a bit more flavoursome hopefully Is it Jamie Oliver or Gordon Ramsay if you need me to work in any of your restaurants just uh, please let me know because I'm always on standby <laughs> you know what I'll prepare some beautiful barbecue chicken but yeah so this is what it looks like there we go I think that looks pretty good you know, that's going to go in the oven. I've actually put like a tiny bit of olive oil over them. Yeah, perfect. Now they're going to go in the oven for fi uh, no, 20 minutes. I'll take them out. The barbecue sauce and the bullseye. And obviously cheese on top. We get the veg sorted and the rice. And then it's got to be here for tea. So as soon as tea's made, it'll be coming in. So that's quite good. It's got arrived. The tea is nearly ready. <laughs> um. It, it smells really good, but pulled pork. you're not guessing it isn't pulled pork. It is. I've also got some candles in lit, but I'm going to put the rice pouch in in a minute. Yeah, the other veggies need already. Well, kind of yeah. Shall <laughs> so I put some pants on? I would, yeah, yeah. Pajamas. Yeah. And then tea will be ready. I'm so excited. I'm going to be like a housewife before you know it now. It is easy enough, isn't it? Probably? I know, yeah, it is. Picks and obviously pick and mixes as My well. My boyfriend. I said, this is my other boyfriend. This is it's why I love having a boyfriend who oh. it makes cakes because he also makes chicken mixes. So thank you for that. But how would you rate your tea out of 10? It was so good, wasn't it? 11. 11. Oh my god, it was bang on. It'd be anywhere. Anyway, we are just going to chill. I've cleaned off the kitchen so your mum can thank me later. But, mmm. I think it's so nice. What, mum? Mmm. A parcel has arrived for me from Royal Mail, so basically. I ordered this Arabian perfume. I think I might have mentioned earlier in the vlog, but Chloe Spriggs basically recommended it. And I'm really excited. It's 100ml and I think it was £20 or £19.99. And I think it's from eBay. What's it actually called? I think, oh, I'll put a name for what it's called. I think it's, I can't remember now, but yeah, it's got like a weird name. But yeah, I'm going to smell this and give you my reaction. I think it's had a bit of a leakage out of the bottle and like, as soon as I opened the wrapper, I, I could smell this, but this is a bottle. It's called the Jawad Al Lil, and it's like this lovely little bottle. It actually smells so good. I don't even know how to describe the smell, but £20 is actually really good. And obviously, like, the perfumes from Dubai are meant to be 10 times nicer, so I'm really happy with this. I'm going to have to keep it upright because it has kind of leaked, which is not good, but it happens every now and then, doesn't it? I've just got back from work, and I also went to the shop as well, so... I got myself a, a loaf of bread for the week because obviously I need something for breakfast. And then I also tried myself because these were on offer. I got a Battenberg cake. I've never actually had one of these before. And it was actually cheaper to get this one compared to the unbranded ones. I thought, yeah, why not? And then I found these and I thought, yeah, these look very unusual, but I just wanted to try them. Like, the chocolate tarts, it'd be like a pastry with like chocolate in it, so I'm quite excited to try them. And they're new apparently, so I'm looking forward to trying them. But anyway, I am going to make my tea, because I'm quite hungry, I finished at five. I'm just going to have a chicken korma. I'm not really showing off my chef skills tonight, guys, I'm just having a ready meal, but you know what, I am feeling hungry, I'm absolutely starving. I think I'm also going to have some chaleur as well, actually, because I fancy something fizzy and it looks like... Your mum has left me this to have, so I'm going to have that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm absolutely starving, so I cannot wait to have this. I am going to end the vlog here because I am literally just going to be catching my YouTube and stuff. I see my grandma tomorrow, we're going to have a takeaway, so I'm really excited. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, also subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.